Welcome back, Packer Nation, to another video. The popular website, WalterFootball.com, is releasing their annual rookie forecast for each team. All of these are written by the site's draft expert, Charlie Campbell, who has actually done a really good job with uh, breaking down each team's rookie classes, the NFL draft, the draft prospects, and he does usually pretty good work for the website, as well as Walter Chapinski himself. You can go ahead and check out uh, the website, WalterFootball.com. If you guys are not familiar with the website, Go ahead and check out his website if you are very familiar with his website and you want to get more uh, knowledge on football, the NFL draft, anything NFL, or even uh, even some basketball. You can go ahead and check out WalterFootball.com for more things. The forecast for the Packers is shown here with this square box, and I don't know why it's here, but I'll try to remove it. There we go. So as you can see here, for he's Charlie has broken off into categories here, and first he has picked for solid starters, and as you can see that Charlie surprisingly picked none for the Packers. And I'm not going to go over and read all of this verbatim. You guys can just go and read it for yourselves at any time you want. But I would like to highlight some of the uh, the uh, main things on what Charlie had to say on this is like saying the he, the Packers had the worst draft in the NFL. A lot of people would say so, including Packer fans. That may be so right now, but we don't know what's going to happen in three years, four years, five years, ten years down the line, and. All these players could pan out very well for the Packers. So Charlie goes on to say that Jordan Love and AJ Dillon will be busts. I did not expect that to come from Charlie. I know that Charlie has broken down Jordan and AJ both very well. He is the draft expert, but I really normally he's pretty positive on a couple of things when it comes to football, but he just absolutely hates the Jordan Love and A.J. Dillon selections for the Packers. But on a brighter note, he did say that uh, Jos Josiah DeGarara is going to be a quality backup tight end prospect. That may be true, yes, but I think that Charlie might be missing might be missing the boat on this one, is that I don't believe that DeGarara will be just a tight end. I believe that he will be a a versatile player he'll be a versatile chess piece on the offense he will not only play tight end but he will probably play in the h-back fullback type of role so i think that josiah de Guerrero could very well be a starter most likely to bust he has aj dillon and um obviously he just said that aj dillon and jordan love will be busts i'm kind of surprised he didn't pick jordan i mean <laughs> I guess between the two, he probably picked AJ, and you can read right here why he chose uh, AJ over Jordan. And then potential boom pick, of course, he picked none of them, and he went on his spiel to see how how bad the Packers did, and just going on and on and saying a lot of what a lot of people are saying about the Packers that they didn't pick for the Packers to win now to help out their their aging quarterback Aaron Rodgers that. The Packers were a bunch of bumbling idiots, and they don't know what they're doing and all that stuff. Well, I cannot wait into the future to actually see what the Packers are going to do, and they and I think they could potentially be very wrong, and heck, people criticized the Packers for picking Aaron Rodgers back in 2005, and look what happened. Future depth player Josiah D. Guerrara. I'm actually kind of glad that that uh, Charlie actually picked somebody for future depth player after he after he picked none for positives. So I guess he likes D. Guerrero enough, but I think he will be a future depth player at the tight end position for sure, and he is a depth player at tight end now. But he will probably be utilized as a starter in the backfield. Kind of similar to how Jay Sternberger was when he got onto the field. He was kind of like the starting fullback, the fullback H-back role when he was on the field because Danny Vitale went out with an injury. So right now, here are Walter's grades that he gave on draft day. He gave 
the Jordan Love pick, an O'Brien grade, that's an F. Uh, so it's a, it's a kind of like a special F grade that he kind of has for certain uh, grades that he has. And quite frankly, I think it's kind of funny how he calls them the O'Brien grades and then uh, Bill Chick's dog grade. And then here he gave uh, Kamal Martin a C minus, John Rennie a B, Hanson an A, uh, Simon Steps a B, Vernon Scott a C minus, and Jonathan Garvin a B plus. And as in total, he gave the Packers an F grade and give me your opinion on uh, this uh, whole article here written by WalterFootball.com and do you agree or disagree with any of this? Catch you guys later. Go Pack Go!